Welcome back. In this episode, we are going to be giving some proper error handling. We're going to be creating a uh, an enum uh, that's going to hold all of our custom errors and then have those custom errors returned here in entities where we have this OK or else in this test. Um, and then we also have this bail here. We're going to replace those with actual errors from an enum that those can then be matched against in whatever game or you know program is using this ECS. So that way it's, you know, they can choose whether or not to crash. Uh, we're going to just return the errors and they, they can deal with whatever they want to. So first off, let's go ahead and create our custom errors. So here in source, I'm gonna create, uh, I'm just gonna call this custom errors, press. And we're going to make this, I'm going to make this public so that whoever is using this library can then reach in and actually like match on these errors. So a mod some errors. Um, all right. So to begin with, we're going to need this error. So if we take a look at the documentation for, let's go find error here. And at the base, at the root of error, uh, oh, there's documentation. Here it is. Uh, we're gonna have to do this. Use this error error. Uh, so that means in our cargo.toml, we need to pull in this error. Um, and then we're gonna derive debug and this error error uh, for the enum. So we're just gonna go ahead and set the drive for a debug and error. And now we can start creating our error. So we're gonna do a pub enum custom errors. And what are the two errors that we can actually have in here? So uh, in entities here, we can see this happens if we attempt to get the last the last entry in one of the components, the only way that there'll be nothing in a components is if we've never run the create entity function. So this is um, an error. We're getting the last, so getting, um, I guess a component, uh, create component never called, create component never. Now, in order to have this work correctly, we're gonna to need to have some kind of like error message displayed out, especially not just something simple like a test. So to do that, we're going to have error, and then we can now just essentially call this uh, uh, like a function here. So uh, attempting to um, access, I know this should be internal only, it should never happen to our customers, except well, it actually can happen to our clients, right? It can happen the first time they attempt to use something if they forget, if they just start running like with component without doing the create entity. So attempting to um, add component to an entity without calling uh, create component first. Okay, what is our other error possible? Also spell that correctly. Uh, our other error possible is this attempted to insert data for a component that wasn't registered. I'll go ahead and just copy this. Uh, so this is attempted to insert. Okay, so we could just create this first. All right, so we're attempting to insert data for a component that wasn't registered. So we'll just have the error being component not registered. Now we can come back into entities and start using these. So to, we're already returning uh, a error result here. So that's fine. Um, what we need to do is we need to now make this 
error here just be the custom error that we want. So we're gonna do custom errors, and then this is create components never called. Now, if I run this, we're gonna get a warning here. So um, Clippy, which I have you know fully on and you know telling me about all the problems that I'm doing, is saying that hey, I'm doing this unnecessary closure. Use the substitute value for option none. Uh, it suggests that I just use OK or instead. So let's just go ahead and do that. OK or. Um, now this is an error because uh, OK or just takes this thing in here and it's going to uh, eagerly evaluate that. Now I'm unwrapping this, but that's kind of a little bit unnecessary because I don't want it to crash here when it evaluates at this line. I want it to crash when the client gets this and you know they'll have to deal with it. So I'm just going to replace this with a question mark. And then this line is fine now. So now we're going to come down to this bail. So I don't like I still want to return an error. Uh, this is fine, but I want to not have to like hard code all the error messages here, but we'll have them be up in that error enough. So we're going to return at this point um, a new error. So this is going to be an error. Uh, and then it's going to be a custom error. And this is component not registered. And this is going to yell at us saying, hey, this component not registered needs to be, you know, needs to be something that can be understand. So we're going to do an into to convert it into the appropriate uh, error error. Uh, and there we go. So now we're properly handling all of these errors for us. And we're going to get good error messages uh, if if that ends up happening to us. Uh, so if we run our tests again, all of our tests are passing and it looks like everything is good. So with that, I will see you in the next video. Bye.